Welcome to your new favorite band, the podcast brought to you by the LA Navy. And now, your hosts, Dallas Dwight and Drizzle Silvera. Well, hello there. I am Dallas Dwight. Welcome back to your new favorite band, the podcast brought to you by the LA Maybe. Across the table from me, as always, is... Okay, well... um, I guess I'm going solo on this one. You there, bud? No, nah, dog, you ain't going solo, dude. Oh, he's back. I've risen from the dead. Risen from the dead. On the third day, he rose again. It's like three minutes from but the flu. It's yeah, the microcosm, flu. though. Yeah. What did you have? Like the flu, dude. <laughs> like the flu. <laughs> yeah, it was like the flu, dude. <coughs> it was like the flu. I don't know what it was. It's crazy. It was the flu. So, uh, cool. Yeah, dude. Glad I, you're not dead. I, I mostly. made that. I made that flu my bitch. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I was its bitch for like two days, but now it's my bitch. I'm on the other side. <laughs> and you dragging it from with a leash or something? Yeah. Dude, like five leashes, dude. Nice. That's a lot of leashes. You only have two hands. So. Yeah, dude. It's a lot of viruses. They replicate and shit. Okay. Oh, true. Yeah, five. That's right. Yeah. They're f- roughly five. It would have been like a thousand like on day one or two. There's like five to like ten five. bacteria in your body, I think. So <laughs> welcome back to science class with the LA Maybe. You consider yourself educated. Did you guys well, I don't know if you guys knew this. We have over over ten genes in our like genetic thing. What? Like I Levi's, I Wranglers? Said I, I said no, like like genetic, like Jurassic Park. I don't get what you, you were talking about genes, dude. I ain't even got genes on right now. <laughs> I don't even have genes, dude. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're here hanging out, having a good time. Gonna be a chiller podcast. Driz is chiller. Sick I'm on Nyquil, bro. Oh, Driz I'm is on sick. Nyquil. All right, one more time for the back. Yo, I'm on Nyquil. <laughs> We'll do that game thing I told you about. Yeah, dude. <laughs> right, uh, anyway, quiet. yeah. The We're big trying. thing, the big thing for today is the Down to Fight music video shoot is happening in like two days, three days. It's this Saturday, the time we're releasing this. If you're listening to this and it's like 2025, then obviously don't worry about it. But if you're listening to this right now, I want you to check this out. We're gonna go. We're gonna go here to the to the TV behind me for a second. And here we have the LA Maybe Down to Fight music video shoot. This is the Facebook event. If you could, please, we have like 67 people responded. That's really good. We were aiming for like 50. So that's good. Um, The address is here. We have all of the information you need. Uh, I have been told by our videographer to tell everyone to please remember to um, mind like logos and stuff on your shirt, that kind of stuff. But I guess we'll kind of... you know, solve that when we get to it. We'll also have waiver release forms for everybody to sign. So we make sure it's legal for us to use you in our video. All that good stuff. Anything I'm missing on that, Driz? Yeah, dude, the uh, waivers are really important because we don't want to get P. diddy or as he likes to go by now, Ye. Puff Daddy. Yeah, Puff Daddy. <laughs> uh, because he just got a recent $250 million lawsuit for some some shit. So yeah. <clears throat> we don't want any lawsuits. So we only have two hundred and fifty one million. So if you guys sued us for two hundred fifty, we'd only have one million left and that's yeah. That's, that's really a non starter. That's not even official. Like we'd have to go look back at the numbers, but yeah. That's a non starter. So we can't we can't lose two hundred and fifty of our two hundred and fifty one million dollars. Yeah, dude, that would be devastating. But we would be we would be bent over royally and taken to Brown Town for weeks. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. NyQuil Drizz, everybody. This is a new hashtag. What's up? <laughs> NyQuil Drizz. You're just gonna we got to have that in the merch store, dude. <laughs> just a picture of me just like... You're just going to come in here on your own at 4 a.m. one night and just do a whole podcast and send it to me and be like, upload this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch it and be like, be I'm gold. never uploading be, this. Yeah, but you'd never delete it either. Huh? You'd save it for like one of those rainy days where I'd it's save like... save it for leverage in the future. When you're feeling bad and you don't want to feel so bad, you just watch NyQuil Drizz. <laughs> NyQuil Drizz just ranting about, I don't know, guitar pedals Dallas or something. Dallas don't feel so sad. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you sang that so good, we got a copyright strike for sure. Fuck, dude. You got to sing worse next time, man. Hey, at least I didn't use the same lyrics, though. I said, Dallas, don't feel so sad. Nope. You took the song, and that's all that matters. You took the likeness. <coughs> so, down to fight music video shoot. Please come. I had somebody text me and say, um, 
Uh, do you guys still need people? We'd like to come. Yes, all people. We're not everyone. Please, if 500 people show up, then we'll figure it out. But you know, it never happens. So, but please, yes, don't don't look at the event and think, oh, they have enough. I would have gone, but they have enough, and I'm not invited. You're all, you're all invited. I just want to make that clear. Yeah, yeah, you're invited. And guess what? Pizza and beer. Pizza also, and beer is all free. Dude. Feel free to bring your own booze too if you want to. Yeah, of course, do whatever you want. Uh, but the, we'll have lots of beer and lots of pizza, and it's all for free. So, and you get to hang out with us. And I mean, what better gift could you ever ask for? By the way, I think it's worth shouting out. They they sponsored us, and um, you know, we were going to buy beer for this. Yes, but our lovely local sponsor. Bud Should we Light. give them a shout out? Bud of course, Light, yes. Bud Light. Yeah, they sponsored the music video shoot, and uh, they're giving us. Well, it's it's actually not just Bud Light, but Bud Light's the company that has endorsed us and is helping us give you guys all the free beer. So thank you, Bud. Light. And we were looking for a discount, right? But they're providing it to us. Yeah. And so massive, massive shout out to them. Yep. Bud Light and the lovely people at B&B Distributors in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Yep. So you guys fucking rock. We are ready to rock as well. I know I don't look like it because I'm high off of NyQuil right now. Mm -hmm. And I say high legally because I took the legal dose. I really did. Half, three, three quarters of a bottle. (laughs) (laughs) I took the legal dose. It's three bottles, right? (laughs) Guy at the store won't sell to me anymore. I don't know why. I mean, I got to show my ID now and shit, but, you know. Like, Jersey, you have a knife in your shoulder. You need to take that out. <laughs> oh, dude, what? <laughs> no wonder. It's not a knife. It's a fork, dude. Come on. You need to get your vision checked. <laughs> and then you <laughs> just collapse. <laughs> face plan on the fucking kiosk. Yeah, I need to get my vision checked. <laughs> That's what's wrong with this situation. Dude, I think your problem is you just don't really have any vision, man. And, um, you just need you need better vision. I'm standing there with a fucking fork <laughs> in my shoulder. <laughs> Let's tell the story of laying pipe. Yeah, so we've already told it before on the podcast, we but we've got to we've got to tell it again. Yeah, this is the song. This is the song. Um, first of all, we were building this podcast studio you see here. Yeah, the one we're sitting in right now. Yeah, this. Uh, well, we're. We're, well, okay, so we didn't. You're build, sitting. I'm reclining. We didn't build this whole warehouse that we're in. We just built this little corner of it, right? Yeah, it's so, a massive fucking warehouse too. Yeah, this is just our little corner of the studio. The rest of the warehouse down there and back there behind me is is not ours, but they're only fan studios. But yeah, right. We're kidding. This is a tiny garden shed, and we build everything in here ourselves. And um, yeah, so it was. Uh, I guess at some point we'll post the before and after pictures. But it was like you know there was like a little desk over here, like a workbench or whatever. Nails everywhere, uh, like in the wall. Remember prying those out and you broke oh, the hammer? You broke the hammer. Yeah, there was a really good picture of you that. You guys too. ever, yeah, you guys ever, you know, pry a nail with the hammer and usually the hammer wins. It did not. The hammer literally separated from itself. <laughs> like, but when you're as incredibly muscularly hold on, hold on, hold on, hold endowed on. as I am, I got to find that like picture. A Greek God here. and stuff, then you're bound to break an oak. Like, I think it was a hickory handle. And so I was prying that Dude, you know out. what? I wasn't going to say it, but you made me say it. You know your wood. You know Dude, your wood, I my know guy. my wood, bro. I'm going to find this because it's going to be awesome. Oh, here's us building. I see us here. This is back way back when. It looks like you're looking into a crystal ball like like Dorothy Wizard off. I see, I see a woman crying by a fence. Are you ready for this? She looks me, sad. Uh, can you give me the GoPro? Probably GoPro, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, you couldn't hear me, I realized. Yeah, uh, insane. Also, what's up with my hair back there? What is going on? Um, It's all curly and stiff. That's insane. I've never seen that in my life. That's how, that's how stuck this nail was. Yeah, or, or how incredibly ripped I am. True. So... We're in here putting up drywall, building, mudding. <laughs> Just mucking the place out, dude. Yeah. Uh, we put up this nice accent wall. It was mostly me. Drew's helped. Um, and it was... Uh, that's, that's funny. Because <laughs> it's true. No, I did nothing. I was just kind of the, the apprentice. He's honest, though. So, we're in here, and, and one day, as we do, we start singing silly songs to each other. And I, I told Driz, I was like, you know what? The phrase that makes me laugh the most is lay in pipe. I always thought that was just such a funny phrase. And then somehow or another, we just start singing the song. You ready? 
Yeah, I'm up all night. Laying pipe. Better call the preacher because I'm laying pipe. Can't make it into heaven busy. Laying pipe. Yeah, dude. So we just kept going back and forth saying funny shit like that, making each other laugh. And I go home and I don't think anything of it. And then ding, little pop in my inbox. Like what, 45 minutes later? Yeah, here's Driz with laying, what is it called here? It's it's an MP3 sent me called Laying Pipe Demo 2. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, my God. So I started listening to it. And uh, I'm, I'm laughing, and it's funny. And then I'm like, this is a good riff. We got to use this riff. And the reason we're bringing up Lay and Pipe now to you is because Lay and Pipe became Down to Fight. And that's our new single that's coming out that we're shooting the video for. We can't wait for you guys to hear it. It has nothing to do with Lay and Pipe. That's just where it came from. But what we are going to do for our VIP listeners at the end of this episode, we're going to play Lay and Pipe Demo 2 for you. And uh, I, I myself have not heard uh, the whole thing. I heard a little snippet a second ago, but I haven't heard the whole thing since that day, pretty much. You know, yeah, yeah, after. probably not. And um, so I'm excited to hear it. But we're going to share that with you guys. You'll get a little teaser of what's to come, although obviously it's morphed a lot, of course. But we thought that'd be kind of fun for the VIP listeners. If you're interested in that and the plethora of other cool stuff we give our VIP-ers, the Vipers, head on over to lamaybe.com slash VIP. Set yourself up with a membership, $7 a month or $75 a year, and uh, they get you access to all the goodies. All the goodies. All. Both of them. Both of them. <sighs> well, now we shot our load, and we're 11 minutes in. What are we doing? Well, we got to reload so we can shoot another load. A lot of loads. So many loads. I mean, dude, it's like you just cool down time. We don't have any cool down time. So yeah, we just, just got to instant reload. So what yeah. was your uh, what was your week like? Well, <laughs> the reason why the podcast is coming out two days late mm-hmm. for our VIPers. Sorry. I yeah, got I was better be. I was bedridden and we have a music video shoot on Friday. Saturday. Sorry, Saturday. NyQuil. Uh, yeah, NyQuil. <laughs> NyQuil brain. It's a and real we thing. just had our music video. No, it's coming up. Just. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not like that, dude. <laughs> But yeah, Michael uh, Driz turns into like a 95 year old man with amnesia. <laughs> or no, dementia. Sorry, not amnesia. Sound like I got a bunch of marbles in my <laughs> mouth immediately. Like I take the shot of Nyquil. World War II and how World War II. I remember when we shot the Down to Fight video. It was so fun, Driz. We haven't done that yet, Grandpa. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's right, Darlila. <laughs> I call you Delilah, not even Darlila. <laughs> Grandpa, that's not a name. No human's ever been called Darlila. You just immediately start calling me Grandpa after I take it. <laughs> it's like, what's up, Grandpa? No, uh, Granny. so Granny anyways, Drews. yeah, I was like bedridden for two days. My fever broke last night at like 3 a.m. I woke up in a pool of sweat. You ever you ever have that happen to you? Literally never. Literally never? No, oh, yeah, dude, it was awful. Place. I woke up and I was like just drenched. My hair was wet. My clothes were wet. Yeah. And I was like, all right, time to change, get new blankets. Worst yeah. I ever had the flu. I was in college. And you know the the dorm like showers that everybody shares, how they're so gross, like you won't even wear. Oh yeah. You know, you wear flip flops and stuff. I was just curled up on the floor of the shower all night long. It was it was bad. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty bad. Yep. Yeah, so um one of my friends comes in to shower, like in one of the stalls, a couple I mean one or two down, he's like, I'm just throwing up into the drain. And he's just like, Y'all good? I'm like, Yep. He's like, All right. <laughs> Dude, gnarly. <laughs> just curled up, dude. It's the worst. The worst is that you can't sleep. Yeah, for, for real. You're alternating between like pouring sweat and freezing cold. And you're like, I need all the blankets I have. Get every blanket off of me, you know, and you just you just can't sleep at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. So anyways, uh, in order to not get Dallas sick or try to uh, mitigate any of those potential effects, because yeah. we do have such a busy... You know, we've got the music video shoot on Saturday. We've got a rehearsal on Friday. We're flying out to L.A. next Thursday. So we thought it was best uh, and and wisest to try to uh, not get Dallas sick. Oh, you know what I just realized? I have to connect my camera again since I showed that picture because otherwise your your camera might disappear on you. Yeah, old Driz will disappear on you now. Old Driz will disappear on you now. He does that. Come on now. Let's yeah, go. so anyways, uh, apologies. You know, it's been a crazy last couple of weeks, so we're getting back on track. We've got a bunch of dates I want it to scheduled. be known that I do not apologize. Okay, well, I apologize. 
Thank you so much for being there for us and supporting us. I don't apologize at all. He apologizes for both of us. I'm just apologizing for me, bro. I just wanted none. Yeah, no. No, we are sorry. I usually I usually don't apologize uh, unless it's really is my bad. Um, (laughs) I mean, you got sick. It happens. Yeah, dude. Yeah, just like one of those like once every couple years sicknesses, you know. And it wasn't COVID. I had COVID. I say a couple years. We had it. Yeah, we had it together. Yeah, (laughs) we got it together. We went through the whole thing. That's funny. Yeah, that was January. Was that January? Yeah, that was January. Was January this year? This wasn't COVID. This wasn't like nothing like COVID. But, anyways. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to connect it here. Hold on. It's not liking it. Oh, dude. His camera. You need to sweet talk your camera or buy it some dinner or Come something. Come on, babe. Let's do it. Could not connect to Wi Fi. Look your finger. The necessary- Look your finger and rub the bottom of the camera, dude. I don't think that's going to work. It wants me to do something on the camera. I guess we'll just go until it turns you off and then we'll figure it out. How about that? I'm already turned off, bro. By the time you're turned off, it'll be VIP so we can fully address it, I think. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um,. <sighs> Yeah, so that's why. So that's been my week. week. Um, uh, yeah. We are, and I'm not going to say what it is, but keep your eyes peeled on our YouTube channel because some really cool stuff's going to be coming out. You and I have been working hard on content. Last yes. Sunday we spent five hours or so working, and we're pretty sure if you're a VIP, this will directly benefit you. So, yeah, we're not sure how all that looks, but we're working on it, and um, we have a lot of good, a lot of good, uh, you know, guitar related content that we've been working on. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Just got to work yeah, out the can't nitty, wait to share nitty gritties. Oh, yeah, I'm me so neither. Stoked. Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. There will be some stuff that you haven't seen before coming out. So Yeah. Uh, in addition to the you know weekly podcast and all that, I had an inter- interview earlier today driving here. My schedule this week has been nonstop, dude. I've been uh, just, besides all my own personal stuff and you know my own lessons that I teach and all that, it's just been like banned nonstop yeah. stuff going on. And uh, we've just hounded with interviews that I've been doing and just all kinds of stuff, doing these you know, podcasts and then doing the filming and editing and all this stuff. So it's been a lot, but it's been really fun. I'm really enjoying the – I like the workload. Like it's yeah, nice. yeah, for sure. It's nice to always feel like you're moving forward and doing something. But Yeah, my schedule has been really jam-packed as well. Um, see, Sunday we had some filming stuff for some stuff that you might want to keep your eyes out for. And then Monday woke up really sick. Like really sick, and uh, so and it was jam packed. The next, in the sense was, that you were jamming vitamins down your throat. I was jamming, yeah. So like my my day was like extremely. So my wife worked all day. I was I was chilling with the kiddos. Yeah, dad life, and uh, <laughs> wake up, make breakfast. Everyone in the playroom. There's a gate in there, so I lock the I lock the kids in with me, and I'm like, y'all behave now. It's a kid proof room, so they can't like electrocute themselves or like kill themselves on anything in there, which is really sweet. I was just like, I can't do this. I can't be a good dad today. Sorry. Grabbed a pillow, two blankets, wrapped myself up, and passed out in that playroom. And so I was sleeping. And, you, you know, obviously if they, they need they, obviously need something, you know, I'm waking up changing diapers and stuff like that. Like, But you locked them in there? So they couldn't I locked them in there with me. Like, nice. I was in there with them. Like, I mind. was sleeping on the ground. They were just playing with their toys and, you know, arguing just about stuff. Kids arguing about stuff. <laughs> And uh, I was just like, anyways, uh, then, you know, next on the schedule was wake up, make lunch. Then after lunch, I thought you were going to say make love. Then after lunch, no, no, after lunch, bathroom breaks, and then back in the playroom so dad could sleep some more. Mm -hmm. And so it was a really play day. Yeah, it's fun. (laughs) What you got to do is get get him on that PS5 game, dude. (laughs) You can do that for a week straight. (laughs) Yeah, that's. I think that's worse, dadding though. Give him, give him Skyrim, and just be like, "Fucking go, <laughs> like find all the dragons." <laughs> so, uh, yeah. By the end of the day, like my two oldest were like, "Dad, we want to go somewhere else. We want to go do this. We want to go do that." And I was like, "Not today. Sorry, Dad ain't got it." <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got it though. Sometimes, you know, dude. Yeah, because Casey worked all day. Like, I, I like I literally was sore all over my body. Like the, the fever aches. Where did stuff. you have that flu body where like you touch your skin and you're like, ow, <laughs> you know yeah, what I dude. mean? Where it's like super yeah. sensitive. It, mostly for me, it's in my lower back and my mm. legs and then like, yeah, and my shoulders. Yeah. And so, yeah, I was just like sore and achy and fevery. Yeah. I was just like, and the thing is, is like, is they were, they didn't get it as bad as I did. Like, you know, their kids are just like snotting everywhere, just like taking their snot, rubbing it up their face into their hair, like. I got this. <laughs> you don't have this. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> and it's like no wonder one of them woke up with like fucking eye boogers like because you're rubbing all your like orange mocos that's what i call boogers that are green or yellow or whatever that color is when you clearly yeah they're like rubbing it up their face like <laughs> <laughs> it's the noise for me that's what ugh, ugh. dude ugh. my youngest hair was like at the ends was just like crusty from it, like and you have to get like those wet baby wipes and put them under warm water mm-hmm. and then like massage it through the hair or just straight up give it a bath and just like get it out and it's like so yeah your life is so gross yeah dude I'm like and then Riley like was had a coughing fit she's <coughs> in the playroom and she just like coughs so hard she goes Wah! and just throws up on the floor I'm like in the corner just shivering shakes oh that happened the other day when I was here or right before I got here remember yeah this was the next was a day different time this okay, was the next gotcha. day cause I wasn't sick right that Sunday right um, and so, uh, anyways, uh, I'm just like, fuck, <laughs> so I'm like cleaning up puke. The kids are just like, ah. you know, she just throws up, coughs, throws up. She's right back to playing. Like whatever. Right. She didn't even cry. Not a tear spilt. Yeah. And, uh, dad'll get it. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, dude, you're it just, was, you're crying for her. <laughs> it was a really busy week, you know? Uh, so I slept, you know, probably like 75% of the day. Uh, the other you know, and it's not good sleep, but at least it's sleep because you're like still like like almost one eye open, like dadding still. Like right. you can't like really just be like, right. you know, this is awesome. It's not like hotel sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You're just zonked. So, oh, yeah, man. dude. Yeah, um, not for me. And then I had to take Tuesday off work because I'm yeah. not going to go try to yeah, get I people you sick. Me. I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh shit! Take your vitamins, bro. We're good. It's just a small snee. Yeah, just a snee. Just a snee. Anyways, yeah, it was, um, you know, it was good bonding time. I feel like we're closer now as a family. Yeah, for sure. I feel that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm real close. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> dude, my kids would abandon me for you in a second. Look, <laughs> Dallas is here. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Bye. It's, <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, you're all right, Dad, but Dallas... <laughs> Dallas is here. And he, to, I got to go, Dad. He's, he said almost 10 words to me my whole life. So that's <laughs> that's a big deal. <laughs> he doesn't just say 10 words to anyone. Have you ever rolled up and like Dallas or, or seen Joe like tapping on the window? Like, no, I've never noticed. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah. I know where his window is, but I've, I've never seen him up there. Maybe I missed it, but yeah. I'm usually focused on like. If he isn't passed out and hears a car come, he'll like go straight to the window and be like. Until he's got your attention. He's like, he'd be like up there. He'd be like, Dallas. Yeah. You'll see his like mouth moving Dallas. He's so funny. He has, he has all the like kid energy where they just start telling you everything. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. One of my students today is a new student, younger kid. He's like second grade, I think. Dude, he is, he is a handful. He just comes in and just, he's like, uh. So today I blah blah blah, 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 and then blah blah blah, 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 and blah, 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 like for like four minutes. And I'm just sitting here like, the social awareness has not kicked in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I say something? <laughs> we got to work here. But then blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, all right, bud, relax. Yeah, and, and I find some kids, you know, I'm like, okay, well, it's time to play now. Because some kids use an excuse to like not play. Too. Uh-huh. I had one kid on, it was, we had to do, we're, we're in-person lessons, but we had to do some like Zoom makeups or something. And the call kept getting disconnected. <laughs> I think his kid was just straight up hanging up and acting confused. And then like calling back and being like, I don't know what's going on. Just like, boop, boop, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's like worked in COVID, works for guitar lessons. Yeah, just sit yeah. Back so and- I would just, so I would, uh, when he would reconnect, I would literally like pick up the sentence where I left. Like I would not say a word about like the call ending. It would just be like, so then we're going to check out. And I would just be like, oh. and then he'd call back and I'd accept this pentatonic scale. We're going to work. Like I would just pick right back up. Like, <laughs> cause I've after like the first couple times I was like, maybe his Wi Fi is just bad. And then, like, the second day or something, like, the second week it was happening, I was like, that's something I would have done. I know what you're up to. <laughs> you're trying to well, be sneaky. Well, you also know, too. He was like, acting all confused. Like, oh, I was like, come on. Because Zoom's got that little thing that tells you the internet strength of the other person. I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. 
does. I know when something's about to go. It's haywire. just so funny that we have a rock solid connection, no hiccups at all, no lag, beautiful picture, and then all of a sudden just woo. <laughs> like okay. <laughs> it's not like he was like, eh, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, you know, it's not like that. It was like full on. He could have done like the pretend buffering where he's just like talking all. What movie is that? Have you seen? Um, there's a guy on YouTube. He does that. I can't remember his name. Daniel Kyer and I used to watch these videos and laugh so hard. The guy will be in Lowe's or something, and he'll uh, just make a funny face and just freeze. And it's so funny to watch these people react. He'll just be like, "So yeah, I'm trying to decide between you know, I'm building a deck. You know, do I need the three inch deck screws or do?" I <laughs> and dude, he will sit there for a shockingly long time, like. 30 seconds plus and the the person sitting here at first like and then they start being like that's amazing and then he'll just be like or the four inch screws because i can't decide between <laughs> he'll just literally just like nothing happened in the uh, that's amazing just to dude. watch that's the amazing. person react <laughs> or not react because they don't know what to do it's so funny dude and then there's this guy uh one of our daniel Kyer and i used to watch all these videos and just laugh and laugh but we would uh, watch Derwood Fincher, a.k.a. Mr. Double Talk. Have you ever seen him? He's dead now, unfortunately. You've told me about him, so I know what you're about to say or do, but I've yeah. actually not seen him yet. So Double Talk is when you just say words, but they don't really form a thought, right? So I'll do my best impression. And what he would do is he would interview someone. So let's say I, he's, he's like a man on the street interviewer, right? So he'd come up to you, and you're just a guy on the street. What's up? I'm a guy on the street. And he's holding the mic. He's got the nice, like, long mic, you know. Well, I, I'm asking you right now. I'm out here today seeing if you could, you know, do the thing. that Well, we were here. I, You know, I guess it really wasn't the way it was. But if it was, would you say that it is? And then yeah, the person would just be like, uh, and he's just sitting here, like, like laughing behind him. <laughs> How <laughs> like, hilarious would it be? The funniest dude is when the person's like, yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, and your Derwood Fence is like, oh, my God. Like, but, yeah. So I'm obviously shitty at it. But he was just like. That's one of his things, though. He would say, I guess it really isn't, He'd, or I guess it really is. He would just throw that in there, and it's just like one of the phrases. You could tell he was just stringing phrases along, you know? It's hard to do that stream of conscious so I drink, talking, though. I drink this because Mr. Uh, Professor Rainforest Bottom endorsed it, but he didn't. But when he did, it was quite the... Uh, uh, See, it's so hard because the yeah. us, like, dude, he just like... With no us, yeah. No stopping, and like... It's just this stream of conscience, which actually is almost easier. Professor Rainforest Bottom, though. That was good. That's a good one. That was good. Um, it's it's so funny. You guys you guys owe it a, a goog. Go check out Derwood one Fincher. Of the, one of the best I've seen, and probably the fathers of it, was uh, on, on Monty, Pyth Monty Python's Flying Circus. Um, um, yeah, man. I mean, that would have been old, done in the Derwood 70s. Was kind of an older guy, but... Um, yeah, uh, yeah, seventies. I, I don't know where he got it from, but he was not a, a big famous guy or something. He was just a YouTube guy, but um, those videos were definitely thoroughly entertaining. Oh yeah, and uh, and then the the frozen face guy. I can't remember that guy's name, but I'm sure if you just search like, I think he was in a Lowe's for once, like Lowe's frozen face funny. I'm sure it'd pop up. It's like an older video, probably from like 2008, nine, ten, that range. And, well, that's when we saw it, so it could have been like 2006 or something. I don't know, but. I just call, I'd give him his nickname would be buffering, buffering. That's good. Yeah. yeah, this was probably before anyone knew the word buffering. Um, that came along after YouTube was where that came from, right? You think? Yeah, yeah. The first time I heard a joke referring to buffering was like you see someone like banging his chick doggy style, and uh, and then he's like, "Hey, can I show you this cool trick I just learned off watching internet porn?" She's like, "Yeah, show it to me," and he just goes, he just stops. Just freezes inside her. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is like horrible content. Just freezes. She's like, what the fuck's going on? He's like, shh. Buffering. Buffering. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The joke, Forget where the I joke saw that. The joke writes itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot where I saw that, but it was, I, I remember dying laughing. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. Well, let's say we, uh, we move into the VIP a little early. Yeah. Since you're a, a sickly little guy over there. I'm a sick, I'm a tick widow guy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the talking where you don't use your nose at all? Hey, you sound like you're sick. Dude, I've been doing it like. I have to like plug my nose, but then, I, then I'd like, I sound like really like I have a cold. I, I just have to talk like this. 
You can't plug your nose without actually plugging it. Not not effectively. Oh, that's not at maximum efficiency. Mine's at maximum efficiency. Mashimum. Mine's mine's at maximum efficiency, and I haven't even. It's pretty good. You're also like deathly ill, though. I, well, <laughs> I was deathly ill. <laughs> Now I'm just Nyquil Driz. Now I'm just Nyquil Driz. All right, let's party on over. I want to. I want to show this lay and pipe song to these VIPers. You ready? Yeah. Hey, by the way, if you're not a VIP member, consider checking it out. Head on over to lamaybe.com forward slash VIP, and there you can become a member. It's seven bucks a month, and uh, I really think we have amazing content, and so do many others. So check it out. Yep. 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 We'll see you guys there in a sec. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the latest episode of your new favorite band. This is the end of the free content. But if you want to unlock the full uncut versions of every episode, head over to lamaybe.com slash VIP and sign up for our membership. For $7 a month, you'll get extended episodes of our podcast, a bonus episode every month, plus exclusive merch. You'll also be supporting us and helping us continue to stay on the road and make new music. And for that, we're eternally grateful. So thank you.